Good morning. Welcome to Raw Online. Today's class is Anatomy of Stomach. So, the competency related to Anatomy of Stomach is AN 47.5. In this competency, we are going to describe and demonstrate the stomach under following headings. The anatomical positions, external and internal features of stomach, ligaments, relations, blood supply and nerve supply of the stomach, lymphatic drainage and applied aspect related to stomach. So, at the end of the session, the student should able to know the normal uh, location, relation, features of the stomach. Now, let us see the external features of the stomach. The stomach is the widest part of the alimentary tract which is lying, this is the stomach which lies between the esophagus and the duodenum. The other name for the stomach are gaster and ventriculus. The word stomach derived from the Greek word stomachus which means mouth back. The capacity of the stomach is varies with age. At birth, it is only 50 ml and at puberty, it is around 1000 ml and at adults, it is 1500 ml. It is an average range. The main functions of the stomach. Now, let us see the functions. It forms a reservoir of the food, helps in the digestion. It mixes the food with gastric secretions which include hydrochloric acid and digestive juices, those contains pepsin and gastrins, which forms a semi-fluid substances called chyme. And it also controls the rate of delivery of the chyme into the small intestine to allow the proper digestion and absorption in the small intestine. So, which controls the rate of delivery? There is a sphincter at the a lower end of the stomach called pyloric sphincter which controls the rate of delivery of the chyme into the small intestine. The stomach also secretes intrinsic factor which is present in the gastric juice which helps in the absorption of the vitamin B12 in the small intestine. Now, let us see the location of the stomach. So, the stomach is located in the abdominal cavity and in the upper abdomen. So, this is the location of the stomach. So, this extends from the left upper quadrant, then it extends downwards, forwards and reaches the right side. For easy understanding, the abdominal cavity is divided into 10 compartments by 2 vertical lines. These two vertical lines are mid clavicular lines and you can see the two horizontal line. This is the trans pyloric plane drawn at the level of L1 vertebra and then this is trans tubercular plane which is drawn at the level of L4 vertebra. So, these two vertical lines and two horizontal lines divides the abdominal cavity into 9 and the genital region is the 10th quadrant. So, this stomach occupies the left hypochondriac region. So, this is the left hypochondriac region which lies behind the ribs and then it occupies the epigastric area. So, this is the epigastric region and if distended, it also includes or located in the umbilical area. So, this central portion is the umbilical region of the abdominal cavity. So, the stomach is lying in the left hypochondriac, epigastric and umbilical areas. Now, going to the stomach, the shape of the stomach varies for each individual. The shape of the stomach is studied in the barium meal x-ray of the abdomen. So, in this study, they have identified four types of shapes. The most common shape is the J shape. So, in this picture, the B dia picture is the J shaped stomach. This is J shaped stomach and then this 
which is transverse this shape is the steer horn shape it is present in the short and obese individual. So, it is oriented transversely. The other two shapes are reversed L shape and semi lunar shaped. So, coming to presenting parts, what are the parts present in the stomach? A stomach is a distended bag. So, this bag should have one entry point and one exit point. So, the entry point is from the esophagus and the exit point is it is going to enter or it communicates with the first part of the duodenum. So, this is the esophagus and this is the duodenum, the first part of the duodenum. Now, let us see what are the openings, curvatures and surfaces of the stomach. The orifices of the stomach, you have two orifices. The orifice which communicates this area, this orifice which communicates the esophagus with the stomach is the cardiac orifice. So, this orifice is the cardiac orifice and another orifice which here at the lower end of the stomach, the pyloric orifice which communicates the stomach with the first part of the duodenum and you, these are the two openings. Now, let us see the curvatures, it is like a C. So, this is lesser curvature which is in which is concave and it is on the right side whereas, the greater curvature it starts from the left border of the esophagus and continues downwards it is longer than the lesser curvature. So, it is known as greater curvature. So, this is the greater curvature of the stomach. Now, coming to surfaces, there are two surfaces. One is antero superior surface which is facing front and the postero inferior surface is the other side of the stomach. Let us see in future. 